And so he says this, so your descendants, here's going to be their boundaries for the future. That's the first thing I want you to hear. We are all redeveloping our boundaries. And one of the things the Lord told me in the backyard, I'm going to show you the 10 cities. I'm going to show you the 10 key aligned people you're to be with. You're not going to just go, 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 just cause nations know you can prophesy to them. I'm redoing your boundaries. Because within those boundaries is where your promise will manifest. But the war will also be greater in those boundaries. But if you'll get in them, and this goes back to this portal, without a vision, without prophetic revelation, a people perish. Without restrained boundaries or knowing their boundaries, you perish. That one word means all three. And so he said, now here's your boundaries. See, this is also repeated over in Deuteronomy 20 in the laws governing our war for the future. I'm going to give you this land of the Kenites, the Kenizzites, the Kadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Rephaim, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. In other words, here's your promise, here's all the demons within that promise, and they're already yours. But you're going to have to Work with me. Look at somebody next to you and say, work with him. You're going to have to work with me until I find someone who is ready to meditate day and night over the things I've said in the past so they can take those things into the future and look at those enemies and say, this is what God says. So, here's something I want to show you. I'm not going to teach on it. I, I don't want to do that. See, so really taking your promise means all those ites that have been passed on into your blood, you're going to find a way to take them out. You're going to take out that Canaanite I structure in your blood. You know, the Canaanites were traitors. Lucifer got thrown out of heaven because of the iniquity of trading. You're going to find out how your family misused money or how they robbed from God. See, that's a, that's a generational curse that can be passed on to generation to generation. God robbing is one of the worst. Says it right over in Malachi, which is a bridge prophet. You're going to find out, if you're going to really see your promise, how trading's been violated. You're going to find out, because the Hittites are linked with Terah, how fear has been rooted in your bloodline and every time you get ready to step into that promise, that anxiety and fear start stirring up in you. You're going to deal with night terrors. See, when you start really getting into how God deals with us to see our promises manifest, it's amazing. See, the Amorites were sayers. You're going to find out how you really see things and how you seize things. What manipulation you have. What 
evil revelation has come through that bloodline that stopped you from fully manifesting. See, I can remember when the Lord told me, because, you know, my family, I had a good inheritance, a godly inheritance, I had an evil one. And both were supernatural. So church never affected me. I saw supernatural. I saw supernatural manifestations by people reading livers. And I saw God do miracles by the Spirit of God. But you know what you have to do? You have to get to a place where all that's divided out. And I'm going to bring this to you in a way about you and your boundaries. I laid on the couch one night. I'd been in the Lord for 10 years probably. And the devil spoke to me something and it sounded so much like God. And I looked up at the Lord and I said, how could his voice be that clear in my life? And he said, because he has access to that ESP that your family did. Therefore, he's trying to use it on you. See, there's a fine line between ESP and word of knowledge. Real fine line. It's like a membrane. I said, I'm going to lay on this couch before you. And I'm not going to get up until you have burned that membrane. I stayed there four hours. Therefore, I could determine word of knowledge accurately. What had happened was I had gone with, it was a business thing. I had gone with a man who was trying to sell land because he needed to sell land. And they had told him that piece of land couldn't sell. And we got on the land and all of a sudden this word appeared across my mind of the name of the people that were going to buy his land. Well, he's already been told that he can't, that piece of land is, isn't sellable. We got down, I decreed it would sell, and I said, God already has the buyer. We got a call, I was over at his house because we prayed together some, three days later, and he got a call with someone offering to buy that piece of property. And he got off the phone and he said, well, they're offering, but I know that property is worth more than that. I said, that was not what flew, what God sent that's, who said was going to buy it. The next night he caught a call from the very name that God revealed on that land. You can't, God is a revelator. It was Mahoney. And when he answered the phone and they said, this is so-and-so Mahoney, I hear you have a piece of property for sale. And this was an hour and a half from where we lived. He said, and we'll offer you exactly what you want for it. See, hell hated that so badly because that was activated because hell knows how revelation through a portal like this can do hell under. 